This weekend, young entrepreneurs are gathering in downtown Green Bay to show off some homemade products. Our Noel Friel shows us how a local nonprofit is getting a new generation into business. One local nonprofit is showing that you're never too young when it comes to entrepreneurship. About five years ago, I got this idea to start a small nonprofit. And one of the things that I have been doing is running a children's business fair. Every year, Solid Foundation Learning puts on business fairs where children have the opportunity to sell their own products. Kids get some ideas for coming up with products, start to think about pricing, and think about how they're going to pay their bank, grandma, grandpa, mom, dad, back after the day of the fair. The kids treat it like a real business, designing each product and making it themselves. These are my uh, bracelets. It's basically like I have different themes and different color schemes for different seasons. Some of the products, like this handmade soap, are practical. During lockdown that we started this, we've been, we've been going for about a year and a half, and we, we were thinking like, People will need to, like, since people are washing their hands more, that they're probably going to wash their hands more. So. And we were getting, like, really dry and cracked hands, and yeah. we wanted a soap that would work mm -hmm. better. While others are just downright delicious. These are hot chocolate cakes. And do you put the marshmallows or chocolate chips in with the candy? There will be about 20 different booths at the Children's Holiday Business Fair this Saturday, December 11th. While the fair has taken place for the last four years, this is the first year that the Greater Green Bay Chamber has hosted it at the Urban Hub downtown. Urban Hub is a, a space that was really created in partnership with Brown County and base companies. The chamber operates the space to help uh, businesses grow and succeed and to, to help those early young entrepreneurs um, get their businesses off the ground. For many of these young entrepreneurs, this is their first experience in sales, and they're excited to hopefully find a new clientele. I'm excited for just meeting new people and telling them about all of my different stuff and products. In Green Bay, Noelle Friel, NBC 26.